This is Darlington for June 3rd, Sunday's early Darlington. Well, what was left of the salt shaker? Yeah. Friends and relatives of the Leslie family spent the day sifting through the rubble for the family's belongings. Explode uh, uh, papers and pictures and birth certificates a mile down the road in trees. Their clothes are in trees. The neighbors last night, they were 30 of them out here, and they salvaged a bunch of clothes and stuff. They're all wet and they're mildewing, and it, they just don't have nothing. The tornado uprooted trees, tossing them like toothpicks. Shards of glass carpet the grass. Children's toys and books sit crumpled on the ground more than 200 yards from where the trailer once stood. What I'm surprised about is that they're still alive and the, you know, in the shape they're in. Jim looks like he's been ground up by a meat cutter. His face does. He's just, he's awful looking. It's There's another story to be told here. The story of the heroic efforts of neighbors rescuing the six members of the Leslie family from the debris. I don't think we saved the family. I just think we were in the right place at the right time because we just came out of the house and did what anyone would do when someone's in trouble. I, all I could see was Frankie laying there yelling for help and I ran right to her and we just immediately, it was just instinct, immediately started gathering up everything and looking for the family and trying to get everything together. Dodging down power lines, Stacy and other neighbors managed to get help by flagging down a motorist. Although everyone is concentrating on rebuilding for the future, no one will forget the twisters of the past. I didn't know what to expect and when I saw it I just thought, oh my God, because it was just debris everywhere and I didn't know what I had ahead of me, but I don't ever want to experience anything like it again, ever. In Darlington, Debbie Micah, TV 18 News. This is damages for Sunday late June 3rd. With the barn. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. Right there. Look at this. Tornadoes whirled through the area, scattering trailers, barns, and homes like pieces of paper. Now, family and friends are picking up what's left of their homes. We've been trying to salvage what we can. You know, their personal things, pictures, uh, school things, anything that we can find that would be a help, to, you know, to them afterwards because everything is destroyed. This debris, scattered up to a mile away, is all that's left of the Leslie family trailer home. Although no one was killed, several members of the family are still hospitalized with severe cuts and broken bones. On Indiana 32 East, the reality of what happened hit with daylight, exposing living rooms and jagged rooftops ripped off by the twister. Some of the residents have lived here more than 25 years. What's your reaction now that you've had some time to let it sink in a little bit? Rebuild. Just start over. Although this area is still without power, a few places did have their electricity restored early this morning. The power company here in Crawfordsville did a fantastic job. They came in here about 2 o'clock this morning and started working on the highway here where there were about eight poles down. 10 o'clock we had power again. Business and homeowners in Montgomery County estimate the total damage to their properties will near the million dollar mark. In Montgomery County, Debbie Micah, TV 18 News.